Everyone talks about getting their dream jobs. But what does it take to get that dream job? In a religious society like Nigeria, some people resort to prayer. But did you know that sometimes the only reason you're not getting the job isn't because you don't have the credentials? Many times about how well you can defend your credentials through your presentation and communication skills during the interview. According to the National Bureau of Statistics, the rate of unemployment in Nigeria rose to 33.3% in December 2020 from a 27.1% in three months. Interview phobia is a major issue that contributes to unemployment in the country. Some individuals are employable but don't know how to express themselves properly, present their resumes and network effectively. An expert spoke to us about interview phobia and how it has increased the rate of unemployment within the country. Okay, so I mentioned I struggled. I, I went to Lagos State University, public university, nobody taught you any of these things. And so I thought that if I come to the interview space, I would do well because I know I'm good enough. But coming in, it was difficult. I got plenty of rejections and I made up my mind that if you, know, if you can get past this thing, you would help other people who are also like you. And so sitting down in that space, I also see people like me and I feel for them. According to Student Graduate Report, more than 50% of graduates in Nigeria disclose that communication skill is the least skill the academic education prepared them with. Like we have a compulsory NYSC every year. I believe the government or the educational sector should do something like when they know somebody's in their final year, maybe they allow them to go through a month or so, or they introduce a course and make it mandatory for them to be able to go out there and face the outside world when it comes to interviews, when it comes to um, networking and all of that. I've seen super amazing, intelligent people lost opportunities because they were not confident. And those who were not so smart, but have built their confidence, are able to um, get the job and get these networks and get these opportunities. Especially when you come from a Yoruba or Igbo family where you don't have to look at your dad in the eye. You, you get that kind of thing. So you have to learn to look at people in the eye when you talk to them. It builds, it makes them believe that you are not up to something. You're not hiding anything in your cupboard. We're going to school or having to um, attend different different schools, all right? Um, they just teach us we only have syllabus on what they've been doing so far in past years and there's no, like there's no trend of bringing in new things. So the next time you complain about not getting a job, think about how well your CV is prepared, assess your communication skills during the interview and think about how well you presented yourself.